the men head straight to the obstacle course carrying their equipment and weapons. Without much deliberation and using the last of their strength, the men overcome the different stages. All right, y'all, welcome back to Combat Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out something from the German army, and this is actually about the German army's paratroopers. So this is going over their selection process. Now, I gotta say, I don't know a whole lot about the German army's paratroopers, but just judging by like German paratroopers during World War II, I imagine they have a pretty solid legacy. So I imagine their selection process is probably going to reflect that as well. Of course, the British Army paratroopers, even like U.S. Army paratroopers, are definitely held to a higher standard than the normal infantrymen. So we'll see if it's the same for the German Army. But the video is only about six and a half minutes long, so I wonder how much they can actually fit in that sort of video. But yeah, let's check it out. It should be a cool one. Good start, obstacle courses and repelling. This is my kind of stuff These here. These 33 men chose to apply. Anyone who makes it through will be given the opportunity to join the special forces. 33, huh? Okay, they're special forces. This is the hmm. EGB Special Armed Forces Selection Procedure. They're an infantry unit with special capabilities. Okay. This is the swimming test where the soldiers have to swim 200 meters fully clothed in under eight minutes. At the end, they have to remove their clothing, although this isn't included in the allocated time. Candidates are under that pressure sucks. from the start. Okay, so I'll say doing Marine Corps boot camp and even like some stuff in the army, like Ranger School, it's kind of similar where you have to do a little bit of swimming in uniform. But even in the Marine Corps, it was only like... I don't know, 25 meters was like the standard for swimming in uniform and boots. And I got to say, uniform and boots really makes a difference as far as trying to, to swim. I'm not like the best swimmer, but 25 meters can get pretty daunting if you're not like used to swimming normally. And all of a sudden you have this really heavy clothes on and these really heavy boots. I'm, I'm not buoyant whatsoever, so it was a nightmare for me. This only increases as the day goes on. <laughs> Straight after, they head onto the obstacle course. They must complete this in less than 1.5 minutes while wearing helmet and gloves. Oh, a helmet, that's so Anyone annoying. Anyone who fails to complete the task is eliminated. Okay, this is a look taster too bad. of what the coming days hold in store. At this point, they're still well rested and only responsible for <laughs> themselves. True. The next five days will be tough. On the third day, hmm. the combat conditioning exercise begins with a march of approximately 70 kilometers. The 33 candidates Good are divided God. into three groups. <laughs> they carry a lot of equipment. That sucks. We have our standard kit weighing over 20 kilos and also carry a couple of two-way radios. An SEM-70, which weighs approximately 5 to 8 kilos, I'm not familiar with that. how it's packed, and an SEM-57, a small handheld radio. These are distributed among all the soldiers, as is a climbing rope, <laughs> oh, which might weigh another two to three kilos. Yeah, so you wouldn't think rope would be that heavy, but rope can get pretty heavy, fast ropes especially, but even like a normal, like they're saying here, climbing rope, like a static line, can get pretty heavy, especially if you have like a 150 foot coil, which is generally what you would have. And the radios, yeah, I can understand that struggle. Being on reconnaissance, I had this big PRC-150, this big HF radio, that sucker was heavy. So yes, everyone has some extra weight to carry. At least they're doing it together. That as well helps. as the physical demands, team spirit is also called for. <laughs> there you go. Who in the group has enough strength left to carry the additional weight? What do they do when their comrade's energy runs low? They must now look out not only for themselves, but also for their fellow soldiers. Okay, I gotta say this. Having someone hold your pack because they're falling out and you need to like pull them while you're just moving your own weight is probably the most frustrating thing. That alone will probably kill a lot of the team spirit right there. I never want to be the guy that's holding out to somebody else's ruck like that. They must all step up and help one another. It's brutal. The group leader is changed every couple of kilometers. Amongst other things, he has to find the right way. Oh, snap. He now has his new coordinates. I briefed him as to where we currently are, and now he will orienteer until we reach the next point. Well, at least there's roads. Whether that or not helps. the group reaches the next point without any detours is down to the team leader's judgment. They face challenges around the clock, even in the dark. Sleep <laughs> is completely out of the question. 
Even at three in the morning and in sub-zero temperatures, Ouch. this lake can't stop the men from reaching their target. Well, at least they have wetsuits. In 20 minutes, they must be ready to move on. Brutal. The next day, they have a 10-meter tower to scale. They're exhausted and need sleep, <laughs> but every move is perfectly executed. Oh, with the rock. Dang, okay. That's kind of cool. The simple double rope crossing requires strength and balance. The number of candidates dwindles even further. Those who are still <laughs> here struggle on without complaint. Good on them. Tough dudes. Some of the volunteers want to join the special platoon. Others want to serve in an EGB company. They come from... If you guys know what the EGB company is, please put it down below because I've not heard that, that acronym before. Both regiments, that is the 31st Paratrooper Regiment, the majority of those we're leading are from there, and then there are a few participants from the 26th. But the hardest task is yet to come. Dang. After approximately 40 kilometers, we have the five kilometer speed march, keeping a pace of about seven kilometers per hour. This really is crunch time for many. <laughs> Holy cow. This is cool though. This is good stuff. We meet the men at the edge of the forest in the early morning. Oh, They've making... completed the speed march. The target is not far off now, only another two kilometers to go, but this is no walk in the park. Oh uh, yeah, so what you can see there, what they're doing right there is making like a makeshift litter. So it looks like they're going to be carrying some stuff on it. Yeah, you can do that with your uniforms. If you just put like the poles through the sleeves, you can do that pretty easily. So that's kind of cool. They now have to carry extra weight, approximately 100 kilograms, yeah. which is roughly the weight of a soldier and their pack, as well as a heavy rope. Yeah, good grief. They can only do this together using the correct technique. Any pain is blocked out and mental resilience takes over. Four men carry the load, each taking turns. Good stuff. Man, that's, that's actually a lot of fun, even though it's really crappy. Getting through that is awesome. So I don't know if I've done it to this level. to the obstacle course, carrying their equipment and weapons. Without much deliberation and using the last of their strength, the men overcome the different stages. Look how icy everything is. <laughs> but I'm sure they're very hot. Their efforts weren't enough. They were too slow. More than 10 minutes over time isn't good enough. But they haven't yet been disqualified. They get a second chance. Yeah, it's a mind game right there. <laughs> Oh, that looks brutal. Yeah, everything's nice this and frosty. Time they succeed. The men have finally reached the target. The combat conditioning exercise is over. Good stuff. The last day, their speed, strength, and concentration are tested in the gym. Huh. At every station, each soldier must keep track of a number that is added to or subtracted from. If the soldier gives the wrong total at the end, they are given 20 penalty seconds. Oh, okay, that's really cool. So we have kind of similar things in like the Marine Corps and the Army. It's called the Kim's Game. So basically if you're doing something tough like a ruck march or if you're doing like an obstacle course, they'll have like certain items in the beginning. They'll place it on like a tarp and you're supposed to remember the layouts of all the items on the tarp, what kind of items they are, what sort of condition they are, the dimensions of each item, and then after the fact, you sort of try and recall it as a team. So you kind of have to be really strategic, but this is kind of like a slightly different, also a pretty cool way of doing it. The puzzle is an exercise that could make anyone despair. Valuable seconds are lost. That's annoying. That's kind of weird. I wouldn't put that in there. Now they just need to climb the <laughs> rope and they're done. Out of the 33 candidates, only 17 are still standing. Not bad. Good on them. Unless they've dropped out due to injury, there are no second chances. They get issued the same shoes or something? Okay. That was a really cool video. So again, I don't know how much more we can see about... Oh, this... Actually, this video here looks pretty cool. Oh, dude. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to react. I'm definitely going to have to react to this one. 
later on for one of the short days. Okay, well that's another cool video we're gonna have to check out later for like one of the short days for sure. But okay, this was a pretty cool video. Again, I didn't know how much they could put in a six and a half minute long video, but it was a pretty decent amount. So we got a good idea of what they're supposed to be doing, but we didn't see every single event, I don't think. I know they're talking about like a speed march unless they kind of showed it at the end there. But I don't know how long the actual selection is, but that was a lot to put in for like what? like day in and day out. That was probably like one week right there where they did all this stuff and then they have that physical test afterwards. You can bet their bodies are pretty knackered, pretty beaten up. So it's really cool. It's really awesome to see this kind of stuff. Again, th going through a selection really requires a lot of mental resiliency from you because again, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for people who aren't gonna quit and give up whenever things get slightly hard. So it's gonna be a little bit harder than what you're actually used to when you actually get into the units, but that's kind of the point of these selection processes. And they work really, really well. So it's kind of cool to see how each country does their selection process. But this was a good video. If you guys have been through this, or if you know anyone that has been through it, let me know how it was down in the comment section because it looks brutal, but it looks like a really cool thing to actually get through. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff. Definitely consider subscribing. And of course, I do have the new shorts channel, relatively new shorts channel, so you guys can go and subscribe to that as well. It's more like gun and shorts oriented. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And thank you for sending in these awesome recommendations. But that is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.